Um, hello, my name is Kevin. I am currently a senior and um, yeah, right now I am a Fab City a year intern. Can the rest of you guys introduce yourself real quick? Hi, I'm Stephanie. I am a senior. I go to Calvary Cross Point Academy and I am also a Fab City Fab, Fab City Bay Area intern. Um, hi, my name is Sadna. I'm a sophomore at Doherty Valley High School and I'm also a Fab City Bay Area intern. Hi, my name is Grace. I am also a Fab City, a Fab City Bay Area intern. Um, I am a senior at California Cross Point Academy and I'm yeah, excited to be here. Yeah, okay, thank you guys. Um, so just going in like a brief overview, overview of my, of what I did as an intern. Um, I basically just started a small organization. It's called um, Stress Relief and Management. It basically focuses on teens in that category. Uh, like many teens, um, they have like mental health issues due to the pandemic. So. I've decided to, like the organization is basically just focused on decreasing their stress levels through just many fun, fun activities. But currently because of the pandemic, we did most of the activities online. And yeah, so I feel like it still did have a pretty significant impact, but um, it could definitely be better. Um, so as covered previously in the pilot video, um, the activities that I did weren't exactly, or in my opinion, they weren't the best that I could be. Like, um, I only focused online, but in like my original plan, I had like a lot of in-person activities in mind. So um, just a question for you guys. Do you guys think like, like what do you guys think about virtual activities? And do you think in-person events would make this organization more engaging? Yeah, so definitely I can go first. So I would just like to start off by saying that I think that this organization is a really great idea overall. And I think that it's a great way to kind of work towards a solution for a problem that's been a huge part of the lives of teens during the pandemic. Um, I definitely agree that um, having these events in person would increase the impact, but I do know that it may not be be as feasible considering the current status of the COVID-19 pandemic and um, other barriers such as uh, distance. So like, for example, um, let's say a person lives like 30 miles from the other, it's just not feasible for like a one hour meeting. Um, so things like that factors do come in when making these decisions. But if it is a possibility, I think that running a trial in person or um, a um, just showing off your project in person by doing it once might be the best way to go about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, distance is another really big issue because um, most people like they live really far away from each other. So meeting up would be pretty hard. But yeah, um, that's why I mainly like did virtual activities first. So yeah, just to get the feel of like how the activities are. Um, yeah, okay. Um, do you guys have any other input? Yeah, like what Sadna said, um, you know, doing this online, it's definitely, it definitely works because you can gather a lot of people at one place at the same time. And you also have a bunch of great online resources available to you, like online games and things like that. Um, but the thing is like with COVID and like how, you know, once again, how feasible it is to gather everyone in person to one location. I guess that really depends on how far you're willing to extend your organization. But for now, you know, since you're still in the beginning stages, I think doing this online is, it is like an accurate representation of how it will go and how people will feel at those like meetings in person. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, since I'm like just starting with the organization, I feel like I can just start small and just first of all, um, at first just like start doing online or virtual activities. And then if the organization just gets bigger later on, then I can like expand it to like in-person activities. 
Um, Stephanie, do you have anything to add? Yeah, I agree with Grace and Sadna. I also think that this organization is a really good idea, especially since, you know, everyone's isolated um, during the COVID pandemic and, you know, you don't really get much interaction. So I guess online interaction is better than no interaction at all. Um, and yeah, I also think that you did the best you could with the current circumstances and yeah, you should be really proud of yourself. And if you do decide to continue this organization, I definitely think in-person events would be something everyone would look forward to. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, okay, thank you guys for your input. Um, okay, yeah, so another thing I really wanted to cover was the, the activities that I do in my organization. Like currently I'm just doing online virtual activities, but um, if I were to do like in-person events, like or just in general, what do you guys normally do to like decrease your stress? Like some activities you do if you're like really stressed out one day, for example. Um, for me personally, I like to, um, these are kind of activities you already mentioned uh, in your ideas, like had this been like an in-person activity. Uh, some things that I like to do are listen to music, go on walks, bake or like um, sometimes for me like just starting a new project like an art project really helps as well mm -hmm. yeah um yeah i definitely think that could also be implemented in the organization how about you guys um i was also thinking some for form of art so like you mentioned coloring before, and I was really interested in that one, or like coloring or painting. Painting was found it really fun, and um, yeah, just getting those like paint by the number kits. I don't know if you've heard of those, but you have like a bunch of numbers, and each number corresponds to a different color, and yeah, it usually takes a long time to complete them. But I think it, they could be really therapeutic if everyone just gathers together and listens to some music while painting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Coloring. Um, a lot of people like the idea of co coloring. So, um, or just drawing, I guess, kind of in general. So I kind of like I tried to implement it like online virtually, through like virtual games. But uh, I guess it didn't really have the exact effect I really wanted, because I guess in person would definitely be a lot better. But yeah. Um, how about you, Grace? Yeah. So. I guess my form of uh, stress relief is really simple. Honestly, it's just listening to music, watching a show, taking a, taking a walk, or even just talking to someone, like talking to a classmate, you know, about how they're doing and like having someone to check in on me as well. I think like um, that's like a really simple way for teens to sort of release stress and, you know, it's, it might be something that you could also do in your organization. Um, but yeah, just really simple ways. And the main goal is to get away from work, you know, to get away from things that make you stressful. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely try implementing those activities in my organization in the future. Um, yeah, okay. So I guess just to wrap things up, um, the organization right now, like, I feel like it's at a stage where, um, like, in-person events would definitely make it better, but it's at a stage where it's kind of, like, stuck at this one point. So do you guys think, or what do you guys think I can do, um, or what I need, what do you guys think I need to work on for the organization, um, like, to improve it and, like, I guess, attract more people interested in joining So uh, for me personally, I think that some things that might be really helpful are doing a lot more test runs with um, a lots of different groups of people. Sometimes when you're running the same thing with the same people, uh, it tends to get a little repetitive for them as well. And your data, like I guess the um, information that you're gathering about the effectiveness of your organization may not be 
the most accurate. So like taking it from a wider audience may increase the accuracy of the information that you're gathering while you're doing these test runs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really useful advice. Mm -hmm. Um, you guys have anything else to add? Yeah, I was also thinking the same thing, like getting a wider range of audience to test your organization, I guess. And also um, maybe sending out some sort of survey to ask people what kind of events they would want to participate in, whether it's like in person or online. And yeah, just get feedback after every test trial run, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the feedback part is really important. Um, getting the people's feedback is, yeah, like their feedback is really important for me to improve my organization in the future. Um, Grace, do you have anything else to add? Yeah, I think you should um, try to collab or reach out to clubs at your school that already exist or have like a similar mission because it'd be really easy to get a bunch of interest and like quote unquote test subjects. And because they're already like a solid club and you know they have activities and things like that like it'd be really easy or easier for you to coordinate things or like to or even just have a team next to you to plan things with you and get their input as well yeah mm -hmm. yeah um yeah i guess like doing a collab with another club organization that will definitely help spread awareness of my organization um but yeah, I'll definitely look forward to that or look into that in the future. Um, okay, yeah. Um, I think that's that's it for this podcast. Um, thank you guys for listening.